It is crazy how it's dead. Oh yeah, they, the raccoons definitely yeah, got to him also. Dead. I want to show you guys. There was actually three raccoons. Two fish that did perish. All right, guys, we're at our pond. We got a thing full of shad that we caught yesterday. There's a bunch of Oscars there. Boom, he got it. He's got one. Let's get some more. Let's break them up, maybe. Yeah, I got a bunch. There's three more. The orange Oscar's down there. Oh, oh, he got it. Here we go, guys. We got more. Don't worry. Oh, here they are. Here they are. The orange one's fighting for it. <laughs> He's the Oscar. Oh, here comes the orange one. Boom. That was the orange one. Dude, the orange one's so awesome. He's so big, too. What is up, BFP Nation? Welcome back to another awesome video. Or is it awesome? Probably not awesome, but it's a good video. In my last video, we saved those fish in the fountain, as you saw, and we came here to my pond to feed my fish some good old shad that we got out. But we did notice something that we didn't put in that video because this deserves a whole video in itself. Come here. So we walked around this pond, right? We, we fed the fish over here. We walked around. We'll show you what we found over there, but I'm gonna show you this. There's a dead snakehead right here. Now, it is crazy how it's dead, but also, it's crazy how there is a snakehead in here. We never put snakeheads in here. We never put any invasive fish that are bad, like cichlids, tilapia, snakeheads. We don't put any of those in here. We do put clowns in here, all that stuff, but those are cool fish. Snakeheads, I mean, look at this. Like, I don't know what happened to it. Maybe it just got real cold because it's cold out here, man. I mean, the water's freezing. It's probably the coldest it's ever been, but that's crazy how these fish didn't adapt because I don't know, maybe they like the warm weather, but I've never seen snakeheads die due to cold weather. Usually they're hardy and they push through it, but I'm guessing maybe he died from the cold and then something had to have eaten him. I'm, look at that. Had to be the raccoons that, yeah. you know. We'll show them the raccoons later. Yeah, we'll but show them that. I do see tons of raccoon footprints. Show them. Look at this. Like, running all through the banks. We, we are used to raccoon footprints here. There's even some in the water right where the snake it is. So we can pretty much assume that those are raccoon, that that was a raccoon eating the snakehead. So follow me, the snakehead, whatever, he's dead. That's actually a good thing for my pod, but something happened over here that's not so good. Tons and tons of raccoon footprints. Jesus, dude, there, there must've been hundreds, right? Okay. Try to, try to come over here and show him this. So I already poked it with a stick because this thing was actually buried. Now, let me try to get down here. You can like see it shine when we walked by. Yeah. So I walked up here and I saw like a white thing kind of uh, below all the weeds. And I saw one spot. I thought it was a peacock bass at first because they like warm weather too. And uh, yeah, it's pretty cold out here. So I thought it was a peacock, but no. As you can tell, that is a clown knife fish guys it's one of my clowns we put three in here in one of my videos we caught them uh with live shiners we came here and we we put them in here and they were fine for a long time they were doing good but this guy he died somehow maybe from the cold maybe something killed him maybe the raccoons got a hold of him but the raccoons definitely ate him i mean look at that right where the belly is just like the snake head they got inside of yeah, him also try to get this guy up here Oh yeah, they, the raccoons definitely yeah, got raccoons to him also. Him. So the raccoons are a problem here, guys. We can know, we know that now. I'm gonna hold them up for you guys because I want you to see this. We gotta get in his mouth. There we go. So this is pretty gross. I want to show you guys. That's our clown knife fish right here. Yeah, it does smell. Well, luckily I am kind of sick. So I don't actually smell it. Christian does, so. That's disgusting, bro. Rip for Christian. I smell a little bit of it. <laughs> I, smell, I smell a lot of it. Yeah. Guys, we're going to try and get some more clown knife fish in here. Sadly, this one did pass away. Um, I don't know if it's from the cold or not because raccoons are feeding off them and they're going crazy here. So I don't know if the raccoons grabbed him when he was on the bank or maybe he was kind of cold, a little slow, and then the raccoons grabbed him, but... Either way, the raccoons ate him, and this guy is dead, which is very unfortunate. Yeah, I don't know what to do. There, I don't know if there's any more dead fish here. I mean, a snakehead is dead. We didn't even know there was a snakehead in here. Clown knife is dead. We knew a clown knife. Was that's dead. okay. That's okay. This is not. This is not. That's yeah, not what we want to see. Yeah. 
<laughs> so this is not even like all of the deadness in my pond. Let's walk around. The, this is a bad day. Yeah, come on. We were here, what, two days ago? We were here two days ago. Yeah. Everything was fine. Not one dead animal, not one dead fish. Let's walk around to the other side where we feed our fish and uh, say hello to the Oscars in the bath and all that and then show you the other dead stuff. But, I mean, we haven't even really seen the clown like this since we put them in here, but we know that they've been good probably out here in the deep end. That's where they like to chill out. Oh, that bird smells disgusting, dude. Oh, yeah, yeah. I just I walked forgot, right past I it, I forgot guys, about so that. Check this out. I can't smell it because I'm like sick. Yeah. But that is a dead bird. <laughs> Looks like a blue jay, right? Blue jay? Yeah, it's a bird. <laughs> it's a blue jay, I think. And uh, yeah, it's dead. Now, I think we know why and we'll We'll tell you guys that in a second, but here we are. The scene of the crime, you can say. This is where all the fish are too, I mean. But uh, we're starting to work into live blue eels and all that. And uh, they're not really used to like the whole fish just sitting there. So they will, they do eat them, but not like really good as if they're- Not instantly they're either. There. They love the tails and all that. Boom, there it goes, gone. All right. All right, they're, they're going nuts right there, the Oscars and the bass, but Christian, show the audience, show the BFP nation what is in front of us right now. We'll show you that yeah. is a mama raccoon. It's a koala bear. It's not a koala bear. Dude, it looks weird. <clears throat> it does look like a koala bear, but it's a raccoon, guys. And then those looks are two of her babies it's three it's three look three you can see yeah it's like they're tied together it's three yeah dude look they're tied, they're tied together. together okay so as you can see here let me see the camera i'm gonna point it out right there on the far right that's one head boom right in the middle there that's two heads and on the end that's three there might even be four you never know there might be four we got four raccoons we got three baby it looks like babies this one's the big one and then uh we got one big dead one but the reason is we were coming here feeding the fish like always and the people that that work here and all that they actually were were like killing the raccoons because they're such a nuisance and uh you know they're killing the birds that we have over there and the snakehead actually and who knows what happened to those Even but they're the fish were already dead they're still eating them and there's they're causing they're digging up holes everywhere it's really bad over here there's tons of them tons and tons of them they would crawl through these little tunnels and, just think uh, about it these four are dead yeah those were we saw them dead about a week ago yeah that means there's a lot more to eat all of those and get that bird 100 percent. these guys died literally like a couple days ago like we saw them dead like we saw the guys out here killing them i took a picture with one <laughs> mainly of course they were they were killing them but there's tracks here we were here two days ago if this makes sense and the fish were not dead that stuff was was not there two days ago these raccoons were dead so there's still a they were already more. two days you dead saw how many tracks were there dude there's like hundreds of raccoons this is insane this is a problem like they're killing our fish they're killing birds and all that this is bad but we got the raccoons in here i don't know how i feel about them being in the water it might like do something to the fish or maybe something. we bury them yeah we'll uh, figure that out we're definitely gonna bury those fish we're gonna get a shovel and we're going to bury them, guys. Give them a nice burial. But the fish are eating. All the other fish are good. The clowns are dead. One. One. I said clowns. The yeah, one the clown one. dead. One snakehead's dead. We didn't even know there was a snakehead in here. They had to come from, like, these pipes when there used to be a lot more water here, like, in the Probably, summers. I mean, fish, I don't think there's a way for the fish to get out, but there might be a way for them to get in. A way out? I don't know, dude. Where's the orange one again? Let's talk about this orange one. Where's he at? Exactly. This, this orange one, wherever he is out here. He's been here for what? years two and a half almost three yeah and this guy he started out this big and i grew him up and he's like this big now he's the biggest oscar in here but he disappeared the last couple months i haven't seen him and usually this guy's like following me around the whole pond like he'll eat out of your hand there's yeah. videos of it we yeah. have hundreds there's tons of videos of him coming up and eating my hand eating fish out of my hand but he disappeared so maybe there's a way for them to get out but i don't know guys it, that's weird these fish Let's hope no more die, guys. Please. I see him. Where, where is he? He's way out there in the middle. Oh, yeah. You can see him from so far away because he's orange. Can you see him on the camera? Look at him. Yeah, you can see him. I zoomed in. That's There's so the cool. There's Oscar, you guys. That's my favorite one. His name is Oscar. But, yeah, there, there, there's some crazy stuff going out out here. We're going to bury those fish, and then we're actually going to head down to a little creek here, and we're going to net up some crawfish and all that stuff to feed my fish and then the crawfish are actually going to become our new pets and your gar dude that thing is sick we're going to feed our gar we're going to feed our cichlids peacock bass and all that so anyways guys let's bury these fish 
All right, guys, so we got our hole here. We just dug it, and uh, we got our two fish that did perish. We got a clown knife fish and a snakehead. Very sad. Not for the snakehead, though. There's the clown. This is so gross. He's still got lots of teeth. Oh. <laughs> He's still got teeth. He's still biting. And there's the snakehead. Okay. All right, we're going to fill it back in, and we'll see you guys when we're done. Saying goodbye to my fish. Uh -huh. Goodbye, guys. Let's let's like put some nice stuff here. Oh, give me a shad. Give me a shad. Clown knife fish love shad. Yeah. Rest in peace, my friend. Sleep tight. All right, guys. Now we're gonna head over for my next video where we're gonna catch some crawfish and some cool stuff as my new pet and to feed my fish. But. If you guys did enjoy, hit the like button and comment down below, guys. This was super sad. The first casualties of our pond. That was super sad, guys. Comment RIP for our fallen fish. All right, guys. That's going to do it for today's video. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.